another team photo for yourself to be involved in. You know, the kits being cracked open out of the out of the packet. You know, it's kind of a you know, it's a proud moment. You know, standing there alongside all, all those quality players and, and posing for the photo. It is, yeah. It's it's hard work. He's got an head like mine. It sounds like like a soft one, mate. But it's good to bang them on your wall. You know, and um, you collect them at home and. It's a real honour to be able to represent your country in any sport, and especially rugby league. Obviously, we love the game, and yeah, it's it, it's great, mate. So I better go get my uh, shirt on. This is all the role that I do it. First England team for a pretty proud moment. Yeah, really proud. Obviously, um, always something I wanted to do, play for England. And uh, although I've not played for England yet, it's, it's nice to pull the jersey on and a uh, very proud moment. Oh, without a doubt, it's uh, always an honour when you when you make a representative side. And uh, yeah, I've been very lucky to have um, to have done it for a number of years now. So I've got a few few tucked away there. So um, yeah, I'll add to that collection. This is top level now, and we've got plenty of good staff and um, the, the facilities we had in South Africa were brilliant. Uh, I thought the food was great. Um, you know, we got access to all the supplements and all the all the kit we used, the, the equipment, everything was just been brilliant. The, the staff the staff have been really good. They've, you've had a really structured week. Uh, special mention to Bubbles, um, the SNC. He's, uh, he's, I think he's made every single person laugh. Constantly, it's, it's good to be back in camp with him today after a few days off. You know, going into any competition when you're with a group of lads, team cohesion and bonding is, is really important, and especially when you've got so many different groups of lads from different teams who have just been knocking a lot of each other in the playoffs. It's so important that we come and get rid of that animosity and get back to being friends. You know, they are, they're all great lads, every single one of them, and uh, I've enjoyed my time with them. And you get a little bit closer to some of those that you can relate to and find a few more things that are interesting about them. You know, Liam Farrell, for example, like we're all talking to him about CrossFit. You know, we've got a big thing in common there with the, that sort of training we do. And you know, some great lads, Chris Hill. First time I've really, really come across him. And brilliant guy, great player. And uh, it's a real honour and privilege to be able to spend some time with him. And obviously this week has got a slightly different focus. You know, there's a game at the end of it and potentially three international tests. Are you looking forward to, to playing your part in, in all of those? Yeah, oh, definitely. Uh, it's not every day you get a chance to represent your country. And, um, you know, when you get to the... Uh, the, the latter stages of your career, I think um, you, you certainly make the most of that. And uh, yeah, I've loved the loved the trip away, and you know, I love love being around the lads and being involved with uh, with England. And I uh, can't wait for Saturday to go out there and, and rip in.